Everybody, good morning to meteorologist Travis Klineski here on this Wednesday morning, a very calm day, which we all need after the busy weather we've had since back on Monday evening. Exiting clouds this morning, there are still a few showers, light rain and sprinkles from basically around Bassett to Central City eastward is where we're seeing some of that light rain this morning. It clears on out pretty quickly. Maybe a couple of pop-up cumulus clouds in the afternoon over eastern Nebraska. A few other clouds out here to the west. Not a lot of wind. The winds will be kind of west and southwesterly, not terribly strong. Maybe a little breezier right in here. A few extra clouds overnight tonight. Partly cloudy to mostly clear skies. Winds turning southerly, even a little rain. These areas right in here, we're going to have to watch for a little bit of rain tomorrow during the day. It's not a great chance, but there is a chance. Otherwise, most of us will see plenty of sun. Stronger south-southeast winds will bring in warmer temperatures and dew points will increase and that will set the stage as our next cold front approaches. That'll set the stage for our next chance of rain and thunderstorms. Now, let me draw in a line real quick here as this model's got all the storms farther to the north and west. Some models have them about as far east as McCook, McCook to O'Neill here. So anywhere in that line or westward is probably the best chance of rain and thunderstorms before supper time. After supper, these will roll southeastward here. I'm going to actually show you two models here. So this is the first one right in here. As these showers and thunderstorms roll southeastward, severe weather is gonna be a possibility. And then they will clear out by early on Friday morning. We'll be left with a breezy northwest wind that will bring some cooler air back to the area. Now again, I wanna show you the other forecast model, but in order to do that, I have to go into my uh, editor mode real quick here. I wanna show you uh, the high resolution model here. So let me save that real quick and show you. And I'm gonna jump this ahead to Thursday morning here. So there you go. Again, a few showers in eastern Nebraska, but otherwise, and, and again, even in the afternoon, there's a small chance of a little light rain in here, or even some thunder showers. But the better chance is what develops out here and then rolls east and southeast in the evening hours. Look how much quicker this is. The other model, the, our in-house model, had the storms right in here by midnight. This model already has them through most of the Tri-Cities by midnight and into eastern Nebraska, and then it will clear it on out. It only goes out to one, Only the, the, that's the bad thing about that model, and that's why I don't like to use it too much, um, is it only goes out to 1 a.m. So <laughs> it gives you an idea, though, of what could be coming here. So what I will mention is there is going to be a chance of overnight thunderstorms and severe weather will be possible. Most of our area is under a slight risk of severe thunderstorms. Areas near and west of Highway 83 are under a marginal risk of severe storms. Not much of a tornado threat. This mostly looks like it's going to be a large hail threat and damaging wind gust threat during the uh, late afternoon, evening, and overnight hours should be long gone by sunrise on Friday. Highs today look very pleasant. Today is Goldilocks weather. Not too hot, not too cold, just right. Low to mid 70s. This is my kind of weather right here. I know some people like it warmer, some don't. This is my kind of weather right here, especially without all the wind. There's a lot of sunshine, so I guess uh, it's a sunscreen type day, though, if you're going to be spending lots of lots of time outside. Low to mid-50s tonight for lows. Tomorrow's going to be a warmer day with the stronger winds. Highs in the upper 70s and lower 80s, some mid-80s in a few spots out towards the west here, southwest. And then uh, and you can already see kind of the cooler air coming in from the west here, lower 70s in the panhandle. Tomorrow night, a blend of 40s and 50s, so you can kind of see the cooler air inching in behind the cold front. And then looking ahead to our Friday, it will be a cooler day. Highs mid-60s to mid-70s, strong northwest winds that will be uh, up gusting to 30 miles per hour. So let's take a look at the extended forecast for the Tri-Cities. Again, we've got that round of rain and thunderstorms mostly going to come Thursday night, early Friday before sunrise. Friday's mostly dry, windy, cooler. Saturday looks mostly dry. By Saturday night, a chance of rain and thunderstorms. We may see a few showers and isolated thunderstorms stick around into Sunday. I don't think it'll be quite as waterlogged as what we saw last Sunday. We'll see. Monday, maybe still a few lingering showers on Memorial Day. So not the most ideal weather when it comes to swimming pool weather. I know a lot of swimming pools are opening up this weekend. Uh, it's not going to be overly warm, but it does look like we'll start to trend warmer beginning Thursday. Dry weather was 75 there, and then we continue to warm up as we go into the second half of next week, back closer to 80 degrees. So maybe more in the way of swimming pool weather by then. North Platte's forecast, not a lot of big differences other than that it'll be an earlier time start for the uh, shower and thunderstorm chances as we look ahead to uh, tomorrow afternoon. So already tomorrow afternoon, maybe some showers and storms. Most of this is going to happen before midnight in North Platte. After midnight, down to just a small chance. This will be easily gone before sunrise. Windy and cooler on Friday. 
Most of Saturday's drive, but Saturday afternoon and Saturday night, a chance of rain and thunderstorms. Some of those continue into Sunday and Sunday night, maybe even into early on Monday. Still a few showers around. A little cooler Monday on Memorial Day than starting to warm up on Tuesday and beyond. It does look like we'll start to warm up as we get into the second half of next week, closer to 80 degrees. A couple of long range models real quick here, just to kind of give you an idea of the weekend. First off again, looking ahead to tomorrow night. See, there's the small chance of morning showers but the better chance will be late tomorrow afternoon and into tomorrow night. They'll be out of here by Friday morning. Next chance is going to come late Saturday and more so I think Saturday night and Sunday morning. This model doesn't have much around until Sunday night then, maybe Sunday afternoon, maybe still a few lingering showers on Monday. And uh, not a lot other, maybe maybe some more thunderstorm chances later next week here. And with the warmer temperatures, that may bring better chances of, of severe storms. So we'll have to keep an eye on that down the road next week. But that's a long ways out yet. So, all right, GFS model. Small chance of rain early, but a better chance will come late in the day and into two, Thursday night There's that, as that rolls through. Wrapping up Friday morning, we're looking at pretty quiet weather Friday. Most of Saturday quiet, but then late Saturday into Saturday night, showers and thunderstorms. Some of those may linger around on Sunday. This model's more aggressive during the day on Sunday. And even into Sunday night and Monday, small chance of rain on Monday. And we'll see what happens down the road. Maybe some chances of rain and thunderstorms in the long range part of the forecast further into next week. We'll see. It's a long ways out yet. So, But with that, that's all I have to show you for today. I want to thank you all for watching on this uh, Wednesday morning. Hey, we're at a hump day. We're on to the second half of the week heading towards a big weekend uh, holiday weekend ahead of us here so hope you all have a, a wonderful thursday or wednesday enjoy the weather and i will see you all again on thursday with all of the latest take care and god bless bye